Okay. Um, uh, today's object is a continuation of last video about in you know, eye exercise. This is second session one. <clears throat> uh, last time I mentioned about that, you know, uh, the eye issue is just a symptom, but the original cause in the abdominal area. <clears throat> that <clears throat> according to according to you know anatomy, that on the right side, they, uh, you know. Under the under the rib there's a uh, liver, and the left side there's a stomach, and then uh, over there we have a large intestine ascending um, colon and uh, transversing uh, colon and the descending colon. Okay, then obviously we we have you know uh, urinary blood there, and uh, on woman case is that you know. Um, uh, obviously, behind the, you know, uh, behind the, you know, uh, urinary blood, there is, you know, uh, uterus, and also, you know, fallopian tube and the ovary there. So, all this exercise, <coughs> you know, eventually going to help, you know, all those organs. <coughs> according to, according to Meridian in here, that, um, uh, in acupuncture theory, there uh, over the uh, in the uh, <clears throat> abdominal area, there's um, uh, uh, stomach, and we call spleen. But uh, you know, Western <clears throat> science maybe you know a pancreas, okay, <clears throat> and then also kidney, and uh, also uh, gallbladder, and uh, indirectly. There is um, connected with a large intestine and uh, urinary bladder, <clears throat> and uh, most you know people or uh, acupuncturists, uh, in, I did you know not uh, not other people, but what I what I thought was that uh, <clears throat> uh, and uh, here is uh, uh, here is uh, uh, omnicus. And over here, we have a stomach 25. So I thought, you know, uh, uh, transverse, you know, a colon go to, go to this way. And then, however, no, it is, uh, this is not, uh, uh, you know, a transverse colon. Transverse colon is above umbilicus around, uh, uh, around here. It goes to, uh, goes to, uh, uh, go to uh, here. So that's what I misunderstood. So some, you know, I I got some help from the uh, uh, the medical doctor who had you know uh, acupuncture license in Korea. I asked him and he helped me about this one. <clears throat> so <clears throat> what he tried to do is that you know we gotta do the massage in abdominal area. However. Many video or program, TV program shows that you know uh, when when you do uh, you know the massage in abdominal area, then you're gonna lose weight. Uh, I don't agree with that at all. <clears throat> and uh, when you do massage, may, maybe help a little bit, but most of cases helping for. Um, Constipation. One time I had one patient and uh, who can go to bathroom just once a week and the pain in the abdominal area, you know, uh, every, you know, every day she, uh, she took, you know, uh, let's say a painkiller and it doesn't work. And then eventually, you know, she, you know, take, you know, marijuana to relieve the pain. But you know the cost of marijuana is so expensive. So uh, oh, I can I cannot afford uh, to buy the marijuana anymore. Then she decided to you know take acupuncture treatment, and with the four session, less than ten days, she lost twenty seven pound. And she said, I became too thin. Yes. However. It is, uh, you know, helping uh, constipation. So uh, lots of, you know, feces in there, 
and stagnated in the feces, you know, could be come out, then we may lose weight. But, you know, actually it's not losing weight. It's just, you know, we just, you know, you know move away, you know, feces, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> Uh, some of them, you know, uh, you know, misunderstood. Oh, if I do, then I maybe lose weight. No, don't waste your money in the in the first, you know, a claim. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so if you do this exercise, that you know, uh, you know, your uh, poor digestion or you know, uh, uh, diarrhea or uh, constipation, even though. Anemic symptom. The when you are lack of blood, with this one you may be able to, you know, increase your blood amount. Also, uh, this you know, uh, menstrual pain. You know, sometimes in the cramp, you know, uh, during the period, and uh, also what do you call that? You know, uh, the urination is a frequent urination. Things like that uh, will be absorbed. So, if you watch, uh, if you watch my uh, video continuously, then you know what is the truth. Then you don't have to be, you know, got the delusion from somebody else. You have to listen from, you know, the expert. Then you know what what the truth is. So all this one can be done without spending too much time uh, by so-called expert or licensed person. Okay, this can be done by you know us. Okay, now the massage area is basically in here. Uh, <clears throat> let's say. Okay, this is, uh, uh, let's say, uh, this is a pelvic bone, okay, and this is, you know, uh, ribs, okay. So, we are going to do a massage all this area, okay. Then, <clears throat> basically, uh, basically, we use uh, these four fingers, okay. Then we use this you know, four finger, okay, and uh, on here I have I, I have you know uh, ribs here, okay. So uh, use your uh, fingers. You press deep like this one. Maybe you can dip, you know, depending on uh, depending on the person. Sometimes you can go into just the one inch. Sometimes even the two inches you can go. You go deep. All the way down, all the way go down until you cannot go further. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, then the other way. One, two, three, four. And depending on the size in here, okay, then uh, you may, uh, from here, you may be, you know, uh, one inch or two inches depending on your size. So same way again. One, two, three, four. Okay, and the other side. One, two, three, four. And then from here again. One, two, three, four, all the way to the inner side, okay? So here, one, two, three, four. Here again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, over here, the, uh, all the way, you know, around the pelvic area, you may just uh, do three <coughs> times on. <coughs> one, two, three, okay? One, two, three. <coughs> now, <coughs> when you do this one while you're doing, sometimes, Growling sound there. What that means, or sometimes you may feel 
a little pain there. Or sometimes you make, you know, when, when you press, then you make a fart too, okay? Sometimes you want to go to the you know, bathroom right away. All these symptoms show that something wrong in that spot. You got to remember where you have a pain. So when you, when you press like this one, okay, then if there is a pain there, then you have some problem in there. So therefore, next time when you do, you press a little longer and deeper in that spot. In that way, you give more massage in there, then, you know, those ones will be healed by this massage. Now, some person said, <clears throat> when I press this, it's so painful. Then, <clears throat> in that case, you don't go to, you know, deep, you should shallow, but you gotta do more often. Uh, that, is, uh, that means, you know, something wrong too. <clears throat> Now, when you, when you press all that way, then you don't feel any, you know, thing special or growling sound or, or painful, you know, all those and you do nothing. Then you don't, you don't just, just press randomly, okay, anywhere you want to. But <clears throat> the one guideline is must be from top to bottom. Okay, so from the stomach to all the way to uh, all the way to large intestine. So so uh, go to top to bottom, and especially um, as I mentioned before, that uh, shed umbilicus here. Okay, then large intestine in here. Okay, so uh, when you when you do a uh, transport uh, transport uh, colon, when you do that from right side to left side, that is right away, because you can move into, you know, a, a descending column, okay? So, uh, you do it, this one, especially when you go to bathroom, sit on toilet bowl, then you do massage like this one, while you, you know, put in a newspaper or a book you, uh, uh, you, uh, you want to read, and then sometimes, you know, your homework, then you put on the knee, and then while you are reading, then you do this kind of massage in, uh, itself. Then when you do all this one, then this abdominal area will be, you know, you know, improved by massage, and that also in you know, helping, you know, uh, all those symptoms I mentioned before. So. Uh, you don't have to do additional time. You gotta go to the bathroom at least once a week or once a day. Then you sit on the toilet bowl and you do this exercise. Okay? So thank you so much uh, for your watching.